how the veterans help this team of Empires? Yeah, they've been great actually. Um, the, first of all, they just came in and, you know, they, they didn't come in um, like, you know, we're veterans and, you know, we've done this and that and whatever. Um, they've, they've just come in and taken the young girls under their wing and, um, you know, they, there's been no, no separation of status so to speak, because of their experience. And they just act normal around them. They joke around them. They hang out together outside of uh, the field. Um, and they're always there to encourage them and push them along and inject confidence in them. So they've done an amazing job. They really have. Um, you know, they're, they're one group and you can't tell who's young and and who's old. Um, Carla and Heather will be departing next week for the World Cup in Germany. Uh, what do they mean to the team and, and what makes it so special uh, for them to be a part of us but to be representing the country? Um, they, they bring professionalism um, to the team. Uh, they're obviously uh, fantastic soccer players but um, it's what they do off the field that's really special and what helps our team. Um, you know, you, you'll find that you know, we, finish, we finish practice and um, both of them haven't really finished. They're, they're off to their, uh, the next phase of their, um, their training cycle. And that could be anything from finishing up and doing their ice baths eating the, prop, uh, the proper way, uh, water all day, coming back in the afternoon, doing additional stuff uh, on their own. Um, you know, just they've got their mind on the job 24-7. It's not that they just show up uh, and train in the morning and then switch off. They don't switch off. They're, uh, they're switched on um, to their careers all day. And I think the young players uh, have picked up on that and now they're, they're trying to emulate them and they're becoming true professionals too. Um, so I think that's been really, really good for, for our team, just for the, the young players to see how these fully established players operate. Um, and then just on the field, um, you know, Carly obviously is a, a very talented player that works hard and is crafty um, and Heather's very vocal and very encouraging and um, she pushes the young players along so um, they're a priceless bunch to, to have and you know we're going to be rooting for them at the World Cup and they deserve to be there no doubt. <laughs> Starting this weekend against Magic Jack explain what it means to the team to play at home um, against our or with our fans there supporting. Um, they love it. The, the, the players love playing at home. We, we think we've got the best fans in the league. Um, you, you feel the energy even, you know, we finished our game this weekend in Philly and, um, you know, I, I heard some of the girls, you know, talking about how much they look forward to coming home and playing in front of our fans and, you know, it just, it just injects this this energy into you and I think it just gives you a little bit more of a spark and you want to do well uh, in front of your fans, you're more comfortable at home. Um, it's just, and really we're playing for them. Uh, when we go out there we want to, you know, we want to do well but, you know, the, the biggest kick you get is making them um, happy and, you know, if we can uh, get a result we know that they're happy and that makes us happy. So uh, we all love our fans, there's no doubt. They're the best. So second half of the season, what can we expect? Um, we're going to continue to just improve. That's the, that's the goal. Um, but I think you'll find a team that's going to and has been playing better soccer. Um, it's... Uh, it's the experiences that we've gone through, the lows, we learned a lot from them. Um, and, you know, we are getting better. So I, I think this, this second half of the season, you're going to see 
um, the product that we're looking to put out there in the future and it's surfacing and the girls feel it um, and you know, there's going to be a big improvement and you know we can't wait for this half of the season. I've been waiting for it. I knew that you know it's going to be hard the first half of the season until these girls uh, get their experience. But now uh, we've gone through half the cycle and the second half half of the cycle should be much better. Some of the tougher times that you've had this season, describe one of those moments where you're just like, they stepped back up, you know, they bounced back. Um, we, we had a game or, or, or a couple of games there where I felt that um, really the effort and the concentration um, wasn't there. And, you know, I came back to training and you know we did a lot of physical stuff um, I didn't touch the ball for a week um, we, we did a lot of a lot of running and a lot of grueling fitness stuff um, and none of them backed down um, they just kept going um, they kept pushing each other um, and they turned turned it into a positive so seeing them um, respond like that and then coming out on the weekend and outworking their opponent um, made me realise that you know, these girls really do have outstanding character and, and they want this. They, they do want to um, achieve their dreams and find them. Um, so um, that was a, a moment where I thought I'd I'd find out this week who wants to quit, who really wants it, but none of them did quit, so it was good. Um, describe how you feel the Atlanta community has embraced the team, and describe how the team, since no one's from here, has embraced the community. Well, it was part of rebuilding the, the, the team. Our plan was to, you know, make the players aware that uh, we we need to get out there in the community and we need to do things for the community and do clinics and appearances and, and appreciate um, the community. Um, and I think we've done our bit and um, through the course of the last three months we've done so many clinics, we've done so many appearances, we've put ourselves out there. Um, and I think that that has contributed to the fans um, you know, falling in love with the team and and us falling in love with the fans. So, um, you know, you can you can see that there's a uh, it's a two way street there. You know, we respect them and they respect us, and you know, we want to do the best we can for them. And I think the fans are being patient with us as well and understanding that we're young. Um, so, it's been really special the connection between us and the fans and vice versa. So. It's been a definite, definite positive.